Hello, this is Annie, and welcome to this second part of the uh, collaboration project I'm doing with Antisocial Bunny. It is a sort of storytelling slash building um, challenge, you could say. And the first part of this is already up, but in case you missed it, I'm going to let you know what the rules we came up for ourselves <laughs> and what's going on. So basically the first person is going to come up with a short story prompt and it was going to be holiday themed with a dark twist. And then after that, the first person was going to build a shell on a 3x3 three three lot without using any custom content. So that was going to make it sort of easier for us to share the lot with the second person who was going to furnish and finish building the lot using as much custom content as we wanted but not moving things such as windows and doors. So those had to be in the same position, but we could exchange them for custom content. And then also the second person was going to come up with a continuation of the story and sort of wrap things up. So that is the second part of this video that you're seeing right now that the bunny is going to do. So. It's gonna be released at the same time as this one is, so once you're finished with this, you can go right ahead and uh, check out the continuation of the story. So, what you're seeing going on right now on the screen is uh, a lighthouse. That was part of the story that I came up with for this. And uh, I started out by um, sort of building a uh, cliff, you could say. Uh, it just looks like a hill right now, but I'm gonna color it in with uh, terrain paint later to make it look more like, well, the yeah, eye cliff <laughs> in rock. And um, then I needed to dis figure out the layout of the lighthouse. Now, lighthouses are things that I am sort of used to seeing around. In the place in Sweden where I grew up, there was a lot of <laughs> lighthouses and things. So I had that sort of visualized in my head, but I, I've never attempted to build one before. So it was um, interesting to try to figure it out. And of course, there are different styles of lighthouses out there that one could do. Um, most of them are, of course, uh, circular and not uh, sort of hexagonal <laughs> that I did. Um, but that's sort of the limitations that I had to work around. And uh, not all of them has an attached little building for it. But uh, since this was going to be a house that uh, people live in, <laughs> I decided that this was going to have to be something that also had a house because, yeah, it would have been too much of a challenge otherwise, I think. Still, I made it pretty small, <laughs> so it's going to be challenging anyway, I think. And at first I um, tried to do this sort of um, in-between um, layer solution uh, with the constraint floor elevation sheet to make it uh, sort of a lower foundation um, and then the house connected to that with the lower staircase, but that didn't really work out. So in the end I made the foundation uh, the same height as the walls and then yeah, they can move up from there. And I also decided to put in some small dormers as well. Um, I had some trouble with the windows in them though. <laughs> we'll get to that later, I'm sure. But yeah, I had to shorten them a little bit because they were too tall otherwise and it looked weird with the roof. Um, so figuring out the height of them was a uh, fun and exciting <laughs> challenge, but also a bit annoying. Um, but we'll get back to that later. And uh, what you're seeing right now is, of course, the, the top of the lighthouse, where the uh, sort of circulating light would be somewhere. And um, I had to actually bring up some pictures of lighthouses to figure out what kind of roof to use and realize that normally it is sort of a small circular one <laughs> sitting on top. So uh, I had to go in again with the constraint floor elevation sheet and lower the um, sort of a top section. Uh, of roof that I could place down the uh, circular roof on and then it worked. <laughs> well, the, the domed roof I think it's called. 
Uh, otherwise, it was sort of sinking through the walls and did it really look nice? <laughs> so that was the solution that I came up with and it, it worked well. And then I thought that the edge looked a bit weird here, so I wanted to make it look more structured. So I went in with these um, sort of borders. I think they came with apartment life. And uh, yeah, turned the snapping to grid off to sort of freehand place them down. <laughs> And uh, yeah, that made it look more um, structured and uh, realistic, I think. So that's nice. I changed out the roof for this sort of worn metal one. Uh, but of course, Bunny can change it out to anything she has in her game um, if she wants to. And then placed in some um, pretty big windows. Of course, if it's a lighthouse, the light has to sort of circle around and shine through the windows at all angles. So it was important to, to get that part right. Now the staircase part was interesting because when I had sort of visualized this in my head, how to build it, I had sort of imagined a staircase circulating around the walls in the uh, lighthouse, but I ended up making it too small for that, I think. <laughs> At least I couldn't figure out a good way to, to do it. So I ended up instead using just normal spiral staircases and that worked pretty well. It uh, limited how the rooms could look though a lot. So <laughs> they take up uh, a lot of space even if it's like... I, I think the problem is that it's in the middle of rooms. <laughs> so yeah, it's, uh, it doesn't take up as many tiles as normal staircases, I think. Or maybe it does. Yeah, it does actually, just that it's squared instead of a line. It's still four, four tiles, yeah. <laughs> anyway, here you can see again that I was struggling with the dormers and um, the issue with it was that um, when I went down to the ground floor, um, the windows became um, not see-through anymore. Um, the reason why I keep removing and adding in the walls and fiddling around with them is that uh, the walls are poking through the glass in the windows and by placing down the window with move objects on uh, without the wall there and then drawing the wall on top of it that will actually make the windows see through uh, even if the walls are shorter than they are supposed to be. But uh, it turns out that um, when going down to the ground floor and then up again, that whole thing is reset. <laughs> and that was something that I didn't figure out, like why that kept happening until after I had stopped re recording. That was when I realized that, oh, so that's what's going on. And uh, in the end, I actually had <laughs> to unfortunately break the rules for one thing. And um, instead using uh, Numenor's unleveled walls to draw over on top of the windows. That actually made it so that when I went down to the ground floor and then up again, the windows were still see-through. Now thankfully, Bunny already had those walls in her game, so it turned out that it was fine. I didn't have to redo this. <laughs> but yeah, unfortunately I had to break the rules once. But then I could make it work and uh, yeah, I have these cute little dormers poking up <laughs> weirdly at the top of this roof. And this uh, uh, sort of extension of a house to the lighthouse, I tried to make look very cottagey. <laughs> and um, at first I, I figured that the coloring could be you know, different, more bluish, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, I'm gonna end, uh, end up changing that later. And uh, I also put in a fireplace, try to figure out how to best do that. And it uh, turns out that this uh, small version worked the best. And uh, yeah, they, they could still have a nice um, open fireplace <laughs> inside of house. I think that would be uh, important to keep um, the people who live here warm. And yeah, here you can see me transforming uh, the hill to a cliff. And this is basically what the lot turned out looking like. So we're coming into the end of this and uh, I'm going to end up reading up the prompt that I wrote to you 
And uh, yeah, then please go ahead and follow the link to Bunny's video to see how she ended up furnishing it and uh, finish the story. High on the cliff sat a lonely figure, clad in red and white, its watchful eye glinting across the dark sea. The lighthouse stood proud and rigid, fighting a lonely battle against icy winds and crashing tides, forgotten until it wasn't. They came at night, young, scrawny and determined. One boy, two girls. The eldest held a green glass bottle in a claw-like grip, and upon reaching the front door, turned it upside down. A slip of paper and the rusted key fell out into her waiting hand. The first lovingly stowed away in her coat pocket. The second gently slotted into the lock and turned. It wasn't built as a home, but they made it one. Come spring, the cherry trees bloomed, raining pink petals over the head of the youngest as she danced barefoot to the sound of the waves. Come summer, the boy picked wild strawberries and strung them onto long blades of grass, tying them like bracelets around his sister's slim wrists. Come fall, all matter of treasure washed ashore, and the eldest collected, carried and stored it all away neatly and safely inside. When winter returned, they would be found at the lighthouse top, sitting huddled together, wrapped in blankets and curiously looking out over the span of water waiting. <laughs>